It's about to get serious, take your sweep from good to great. Today with me at the Knowledge Drop, my name is Focus of the FOMO crew here at Cypher Studio, represent bboydojo.com. Focus, focus. First up, let's define sweep. What do we mean with a sweep? Any sweeping motion that takes you uh, from position to another one. The king of transition, king of transitions and a foundation for Nordic flows. You see b-boys and b-girls from uh, the Northern Europe. You see a lot of sweeps, front, back, up, down, whatever. Why do I say the king of transitions? Because the sweeps can take you in and out of almost all of your moves and add some flow motion into your flow. Also an amazing tool to build momentum to your moves. So once you learn to add a sweep in front of your moves, you can learn how to get there fast and how to make your moves explosive. That way you use way less energy for your transitions. And your flow becomes powerful. You guys ready? Let's get right into it. Now first of all, the sweep is a full body movement, not just your foot. You see beginners break, they do their sweeps in a way <laughs> that only the foot is moving from the front. If you want your sweep to be powerful, you start your sweep from your hips, you start your sweep from your shoulders, you start your sweep from your arms, and the full body movement is what builds the momentum. If you ever tried kickboxing or karate or kung fu or whatever, if you ever did a kick in a martial arts class, you realize that it's not just your foot that's moving. You start from your hips, you start with your upper body with your momentum. And that way, you gain some momentum to the kick. And if you kick a punching bag, you don't kick the punching bag, you kick through it. And that way you build momentum for your sweep too. So think about it, how can you make your sweep as powerful as possible? The basic front sweep, adding your hips, adding your shoulders, adding your arms to the mix and kicking through. Number two, you need to relax people, you need to relax. If you're stiff with your sweeps, gah! there's no momentum, there's no power, there's no explosiveness in your sweeps. So chill people, take it easy. And when it's time to use the muscles that you need, that's when you use them, not before, not after. <coughs> Versus. Number three is move. Start moving with your drops, with your go downs. Easy way to build momentum for your go downs too. So instead of being static, pick a direction and make your sweeps move. And next up, number four, a sweep can go any direction. A front sweep is not the only sweep there is. Actually, any direction you sweep your foot, sideways, back, up, in, out, can be a way of rocking a sweep in order to build your momentum. But of course, you have to start from somewhere, so master your back sweeps first, and let's do it the same way as I learned from Ken Swift. I love back sweeps myself, and the way that I love to do them is with my knee in the ground. You get a good whip in the back, and a proper momentum from your hips. And while we add it, why not switch direction during the sweep too? So imagine you do a back sweep over here, while you freeze in the front, switch direction, do another one on the other side, and somehow turn that into an eighth ball pattern with the back sweeps. Give it a shot, it's a fun way of flipping your directions and turning it into an eighth ball while you flow. And next up, switch up the levels. Level up your sweep. Rock the top sweep or top swipe, like a lot of people call it, and take your sweep to another level. It's the same sweep, you just don't go down with it. You keep your hips up, swing your arms to gain that speed from your upper body too. There's three ways of rocking it. Number one is the one that I just showed you where you kick in the air and turn on the side. Number two is more like a swipe, where you rotate with your sweep and start rotating with your movement. It's like stepping straight into your master swipe from your tops or any other power move. The third one is a lot bigger. You do the same top sweep, but you dive straight to the front with your upper body, pew, simultaneously, and that's what makes it higher and more crazy. I learned that from Alien Ness, and you need to study Alien Ness in order to know how to do it properly. And the last step, let's turn these into a small combo so you can get somewhere with your sweeps. Let's start with the top sweep, going straight into your back sweep, and finishing off with the front sweep at the end. Give it a shot. So top sweep first, start with the top sweep. Straight with your knee in the ground into a back sweep. 
Once you're in the front, rock the last front three from there. So there's three different levels to your round. You start from your top, you go for your swipe level, come down to your footwork level and get back up. Make it flow smoothly and effortlessly and add your moves into the combo somehow. Let me see what you got. Record your combos and post them with the hashtag bboydojo at bboydojo on Instagram so I can see what you guys are cooking up. And that, my friends, is how you take your sweeps from good to great. Next up, join my free footwork workshop at bboydojo.com. Right away, I'll see you over there, y'all. Peace.